How useful would power-ups be in real life? Part 2. So you guys really seem to like the first part, so I figured I'd start working on the next part. For those of you who are new, in this series I look at Mario power-ups and I rate them based on how useful I think they'd be in real life. In the last video, I asked you guys for ideas, and you guys really had some great suggestions. If I use your idea, I'll shout you out at the end of the video. Obviously, I couldn't talk about everyone's ideas, but if I didn't in this video, then I'll try to get to them in the next part. One thing I'd like to specify before we begin is the fact that this list is centered around only you having the power-up. Anyways, without any further delay, let's begin. The Drill Mushroom is one of the most requested power-ups from the first part. It's a recent power-up coming from Mario Wonder. The Drill Mushroom allows you to drill yourself underground and above you for better traversal. The Drill also allows you to break stuff. Now the Drill Mushroom could be good in certain situations, including construction. It's also kind of good if you need to travel somewhere, but you could probably get somewhere without being as destructive, because when you drill into places, I assume that it leaves holes where you dig. This section was kind of short, but I don't really have much else to say about the Drill Mushroom. It's a cool power-up, but I feel like it's better suited for the Mario universe and not the real world. Because of this, I'm going to be giving the Drill Mushroom a 2 out of 10. There could be some good uses for it, but I can't really think of any. The Frog Suit is an interesting power-up. It originated from Super Mario Bros. 3. It allows you to swim exceptionally well underwater, and it also allows you to run on water if you are holding an item. Now, I don't know what would qualify as an item in the real world, but it seems like anything relatively big would work. Now this sounds great, but there is a drawback. The frog suit is horrible on land. The only form of mobility the frog suit has on land is hopping around slowly. This power-up could be better or worse depending on your situation. For instance, this power-up would be extremely helpful for somebody who is a marine biologist or something like that. This power-up wouldn't be as useful to somebody who is a football player because they need mobility on land more than they do on the water. I'd assume that the frog suit allows you to breathe underwater, but I'm not too sure because Mario can breathe underwater regardless of if he has the frog suit on or not. Overall, this power-up is pretty good, but it'd be better if it didn't have the land mobility drawback. The frog suit does have kind of a good ability on land, and that ability is the power to jump higher. That ability could be useful, but I don't think it outweighs the con of it only being able to hop around on land. The frog suit is going to get a 5 out of 10. Now I know Yoshi isn't technically a power-up, but a few people suggested him, and I thought it'd be interesting to talk about Yoshi. I mean he works similarly enough to a power-up, so why not? Yoshi made his first appearance in Super Mario World, and has been a staple character ever since. Yoshi gives the player the ability to ride him and can eat enemies and collect items using his tongue. In real life, I feel like Yoshi would be more like a pet. Now, keep in mind, this list is centered around you, so only you would have Yoshi and not the rest of the world, because if everyone had a Yoshi, I think it'd be chaos. I don't think Yoshi would be too useful up front, but as a pet or companion, I think he'd be awesome. It's the same situation with any other pet. A lot of them aren't too useful, unless they're there to be of support, such as if you're blind, but generally most pets don't give you much use. But if you think of pets as only things to be used, then you're heartless. Pets are companions that give you company, and I think the same could be true if Yoshi were real. Though I do think it'd be hard to take care of a Yoshi. I mean, have you seen the things that they can eat? He literally can eat Goombas whole. Overall, I'm going to give Yoshi a 7 out of 10. I might be biased, but I don't care. Having a Yoshi in real life would be awesome. Just don't let anyone see him, or they might think it's a Jurassic Park situation. So in the first part, I talked about the Ice Flower from the new Super Mario Bros. series, but many of you pointed out that there's another type of Ice Flower. The other Ice Flower comes from Mario Galaxy, and it works pretty differently than the Ice Flower from new Super Mario Bros. For the sake of the video, I'm just going to call it the Ice Flower to avoid confusion. The Ice Flower was in Mario Galaxy, and it allowed Mario to freeze water and lava. This would allow you to walk and wall jump on these surfaces. Mario could also skate on ice while using the Ice Flower, but you could do that normally in real life, so I'm not really going to talk about the skating aspect of the power-up. It pretty much just turns you into Iceman from the X-Men. The Ice Flower could be pretty fun in real life, 
because while I doubt anyone's going to be using it to walk on lava, I think tons of people are going to use it to walk on water. I can't think of many uses of this currently, but I still think it'd be fun. But I guess this isn't a rating on how fun a power-up is, so I guess because of the fact that it doesn't seem that useful, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. If you can think of some uses for the Ice Flower from Mario Galaxy, let me know in the comments because I honestly can't think of many practical uses for it. So this section is going to be kind of a mashup of many power-ups because in the Mario series there have been a ton of power-ups that involve some sort of flight. So instead of talking about all of them in depth in their own sections, I'm going to instead briefly go over each one and kind of speed run through this section because like I said, there's a lot of flight power-ups and if I did go over each one in their own section, I'd be talking until the end of the universe. First I'm going to talk about the pea balloon. The pea balloon does give you the benefit of flight but it also makes you look like you just ate 40 Thanksgiving dinners. You also can't land on the ground once you have the power-up, which means you'd be floating until you die. This would be super inconvenient in real life, so I'm going to be giving the pea balloon a 3 out of 10. The next flight power-up is the cape feather. The cape feather allows you to fly if you have a running start, but it is kind of hard to stay flying because you need to perform a unique pattern in order to stay in flight. If you've ever played any game with the cape feather, you know what I mean. The cape feather could be useful, but because of the fact that there might be difficulty using it, and the fact that you're going to need to be at full speed in order to obtain flight, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Now I'm going to be talking about the Red Star. The Red Star is a flight power-up with virtually no drawbacks. It's just a straight up flight power-up, and flight would be pretty useful in real life, so it's going to get a 9 out of 10. The Propeller Mushroom is a power-up that allows you to shoot yourself upwards with great height, and in my eyes, it's pretty much just a really high jump boost. I don't really know what you need a jump boost for in real life, but there could be some potential benefits, so it's going to get a 4 out of 10. The last flight power up I'm going to talk about today is the Tanuki Leaf. The Tanuki Leaf works similarly to the Cape Feather. You need to run at full speed in order to obtain flight, but the flight doesn't last forever. Eventually you will come down, so this power up can only take you so far before you need to ascend again. This is a pretty big drawback, and it generally wouldn't let you fly over big gaps or oceans or anything like that but it could still be useful. The Tanuki Leaf is going to get a 6 out of 10. I know I didn't go over every flight power-up, but I'll try to get to more flight power-ups in future parts. This was another one of the most requested power-ups from the last part. This power-up is the Bubble Flower. It comes from Mario Wonder and allows you to shoot huge bubbles from your hands. The bubbles that you shoot aren't just any ordinary bubbles. They're actually deadly, and in the games, they defeat enemies by absorbing them in the bubble and making them disappear. This isn't too useful in real life, because to my knowledge, the bubble flower's only use is to fight enemies. I mean, I guess technically you can jump on the bubbles and use them as platforms, so I guess that could be useful, but I don't think that small pro outweighs the cons of the other abilities of the bubble flower in real life. I mean, maybe you could use the bubbles to absorb objects to get rid of them, kind of like a portable trash can, but... In the game, it doesn't seem like the bubbles work on objects. I really don't think this power-up would be too useful in real life, so I'm going to give it a 1 out of 10. I know that's harsh, but I mean, I honestly don't think the bubble flower would be too practical in real life. The Superstar is one of the most iconic Mario power-ups of all time. It originated from the first Mario game, and it allows you to be briefly invincible unless you fall into lava or pits, and you run a little bit faster. This power-up is useful in the game, and it's one of the most powerful considering that you can't die to most things for a short amount of time. But in real life, I don't think that there'd be much use for it. I know I've said that for a lot of power-ups in the list, but I think it's true. A lot of these power-ups are great in the Mario games, but when converted to into real life, they're not too useful. The Superstar could be problematic because while you do run faster, you can't touch anyone or they'll die. I think it's obvious that you wouldn't want that. I hate to end the list on a bad note, but I'm going to give the Superstar a 1 out of 10. Now we finally made it to the end of the list. In the last video, I said that if people commented ideas for power-ups, I'd shout them out. So that's what I'm going to do now. Obviously, I couldn't respond to everyone's comments. So if you commented and I didn't respond, then I want you to know that it's nothing against you. It's just the fact that there's so many comments that it's hard to respond to all of them, you know? Also, if I didn't use your power-up, I'll probably use it in part 3 or a future part, so stay tuned. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you have a great day.